All right, now I have several prepared questions, okay, that I worked out answers to because they would be simply too long to write out here on paper. And uh, one of them says, describe the process, starting with the action potential, arriving at the synaptic terminal, by which neurotransmitter is released from an axonal ending. So they're asking us in this question to describe how um, neurotransmitter is released. All right. And the action potential arrives at, a, at the synaptic terminal and briefly depolarizes it, okay? So remember the depolarization from uh, our drawings. Um, so the action potential arrives at the synaptic terminal, briefly depolarizes the membrane, okay? The depolarization causes the voltage-gated or voltage-sensitive Ca2+, plus or calcium, ion channels to open briefly. Okay, and these calcium ion channels, these calcium ions rather, enter the cell and bind to internal proteins. Okay, the binding of the the binding of the calcium to the internal proteins initiates what's known as, again as a biochemical cascade, and the cascade results in the movement of vesicles towards the membrane. Okay, and the, and once these vesicles, which I drew in the previous example, um. Once the eventually they, they fuse or you know they have an eventual fusion with the membrane, followed by what's known as exocytosis of the neurotransmitter. So essentially what I'm saying there is release of the neurotransmitter. So that's in layman's terms, or I shouldn't say in layman's terms, I should say intuitively, that's what, what's going on when transmitter is being released. Okay, it's not a very difficult concept to grasp at all. You have these voltage you have a depolarization, okay, from an action potential, and that depolarization um, changes or opens voltage-sensitive ion channels or voltage-gated ion channels, calcium, they're calcium ion channels in specific, the calcium enters the cell, it binds to these G protein, internal proteins, and um, what it ends up doing is initiating a biochemical cascade that results in the exocytosis of the neurotransmitter, and um, and that's how the whole process works. So that's how a neurotransmitter is released. Okay.